Hibermians, I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of A Winter Mute. In our The Long Dark Crossroads elegy playthrough, <laughs> we now have to do what we need to do before leaving P Pleasant Valley, which means uh, we can, can choose whatever we want to do, which is strange. Uh, where do I have to go again? <laughs> I actually do not remember. <laughs> Leave the community hall. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess, I guess I can do that. <laughs> now, I don't have any food. Can I take some away from that <laughs> food store? <laughs> It'd be terrible, but can I? I can. Can I? <laughs> no, I can't. Well, is there any food here? That'd be great. Can't believe I didn't check this yet. Oh look! Oh no, that's coffee and tea. This will come in handy. No, it won't. Okay. I haven't searched these. Maybe there's some food here. No. No. Oh, this stuff will come in handy. Okay. Let me guess who will call once I try to step out the door. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Molly. Wow. I hate to be a foregone conclusion. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. <laughs> I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? Would they have done the same for you? I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people, delivering babies or researching or whatever it is you do. Does anyone really notice? I I'm not sure, Ouch. but I don't do it for that. You don't do it for recognition because you don't get any. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. Something more than a cattleman's daughter. I'm sure you could have, Molly. Don't patronize me. I could have been something. But I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? You wouldn't understand. Did he hurt you? Did you kill him? No. <laughs> There's different ways to hurt people. Some ways heal. Other ways never do. And I told you. The wolves killed him. <sighs> never mind that. I called to tell you something. What? What did you call to tell me, Molly? There's an old radio tower. On the top of the hill, overlooking my farm. Seriously? You can see the tower from my porch. Not sure if you can get it working, but the radio up there would be good enough to reach Perseverance Mills. You can maybe find out about your guy. The precious mystery thing that you hope he has. A radio? But why, why'd you wait so long to tell me? Well, I didn't know if it'd work. And also... Girl gets lonely out here, I guess. Uh. It was nice to have someone to talk to. Thanks. Well, go to Signal Hill. Great. Let's check the weather. Rumi's trying to kill my feet, by the way. So if you hear strange sounds, it's the little kitten. I have really thick socks on. She likes to bite them and claw at them. Yeah, cats. Oh, no, 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 no. But, at the very least, I can get into a house with a proper bed. There we go. 
We need to do something to keep ourselves occupied while we wait out the storm. But we can't wait too long. Because we don't have any food and we're going to start starving soon. That is slightly unfortunate. And I don't really want to lose my well-fed modifier, to be honest. Okay, I can fix this. It takes 25 minutes. Or maybe it'll just be full storm from now on. Because it kind of predict that it would be stormy now, right? Fine. Let's get back to Molly's farm. In the snowstorm, yes. Oh man. What is that? trusty old gun, okay? Scat. I have no time to lose, so you're just gonna have to follow me while I run away. I don't like the flare. get myself I need bandage please tell me I have bandage yes bandage the right foot good Rumi seriously oh she's being bad okay now, I'm not entirely sure when to turn East. Well, that's where I came out last time. I could keep following the road, though. Let's do that. I'm gonna start losing condition soon. See I'm freezing the reason why <laughs> but I have no food so it's not like I can just stick around oh, I've never been so hungry in my life have fun over here okay Rumi you are being a really bad girl I wish you weren't. You are. Very, very bad. Let me see. A little bit more. I'm almost there, but I really need food. How am I going to get food? Oh, I thought that was an ant. Now she's sitting in front of the screen. But thankfully the screen is big enough. Ooh, maybe there's food in this car. Let's see. Please, anything? No. Back seat. No. Trunk. 
my only hope. This is where I go right, right? Just a little bit, like this. I have to get through here. Eh. Here. I see it. Let's get some sticks. Is there any food here? Oh yeah, there is. Or can I not take the wolf meat? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh look, a hatchet! <laughs> oh man, I missed that right at the beginning of the game. That's just dandy. Okay, no food here. I could drink some tea though, that gives some calories. But just a tiny, tiny bit. What's this? Does this the give calories? Yes, it does. Hmm. Don't like headaches. Don't like the thought of that. Let's drink some more tea. We actually don't need to go to Molly's farmhouse. We can go straight towards Signal Hill. But it looks like we have to go like this to get there. That's a little unfortunate. So you'd have to follow the river down and then at the next bridge go right. But I'm not warm enough to do that. Make a quick, quick fire. Warm ourselves <sighs> up. How are we doing on water? Let's cook some more water, just because we can. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Wait, 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 wait. Where did my big, big pot go? I must have left it somewhere. Ah, oh, dang it, really? Oh man. Okay, um. Great, I guess. Cook water. I need to find food. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's move. We have no time to spare. Because I think there's going to be a blizzard the whole way through. Because that was the last quest, right? Storm is coming, or the coming storm, or whatever. So... There should be a blizzard all the whole time. I think. it down to the river. <laughs> and potentially cattails. Meaning food. Food for Astrid. Rumi is extremely fascinated by the game, and she forgot to be a jerk. Cattails. Eat cattails. Not yet. 
Apparently we just need to keep moving. The next bridge we go right. Could be more cattails here. Art, move. Go to Canada, they said. It would be nice, they said. Ugh. Lower falls. Falls does not sound good. Wait, did we miss it? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Can't be right. And this is also really, really bad for me because it's slowing me down. And I'm already losing condition. So that is really bad. I could eat a horse. That's saying a lot, because I love horses. <laughs> yeah, let's let's eat something. But not too much. We are more likely to die from this weather and hypothermia and frostbite and things like that than we are of hunger. A cave would be nice. I don't think I can light a fire right now in this blizzard. Let's see. Okay. Can I get up here? Or will it not let me? Come on, game. We'll find you. Really? Where? Oh, that was it? Okay. Really do hope I can warm up at Signal Hill. Because otherwise I'm doomed. This is a huge, huge gamble that I'm taking. And I really hope that there's food up there too. Wait a second, okay? Just wait a second. Okay, we're still going the right way. Oh, it's far. I thought I was nearly there. Okay, let's eat something real quick again.
Now, carrying a torch does warm you up a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to help right now. We just have to keep moving. That's literally all I can do. Astrid, you're a beast. All this running is making her very, very tired. But better tired than dead, right? Spring risk, because we're over encumbered, because we're tired. Okay, that's not good. Which direction? I forgot you have to aim with that thing. Okay. Where is it? Here. The radio tower. So I have a chance at least. Where do I get in? Come on. <sighs> Did you feel it too? <laughs> oh my god. I can only hope the radio in here is in better shape than everything else in the valley. Eat. Okay. And we're warming up too, right? Yes, we are. Okay, let's get our... We don't need the light source per se, but I want to get it anyway. Because I just want to be able to see. Coffee. Peanut butter, yes! Oh, soup and dog food! Oh, all the things and all the stuffs! Molly can call us here, because I saw a phone. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Sleep here. Combat pants. A lot of food. We're saved! Flashlight. Flashlights come to life during an aurora. Oh, hello, stim. Oh, yeah, emergency stim. Should not forget about that. I've got those. Nobody needs this anymore. I don't need flare shells, but I do need rifle ammo and revolver ammo, so that makes me happy. More rifle ammo. Good, good, good. No, 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 we're fine. You're not gonna drop anything, you're gonna eat stuff. That's what you're gonna do, Astrid. That's what you're gonna do. We see another sewing kit. And another cartridge for the revolver. And another one. And another one. This will come in handy. Oh! I wanted that! Give me. I'm gonna eat my belly full in a second. Okay. It's 
read this. It all happened during a storm, so we'll never know exactly what the hell went out on there. All we do know is we were cut off from the highway now. Tons and tons of rocks stand between us and the rest of Great Bear. An earthquake? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's eat. That's gonna do a lot. This is very happy making. There we go. Um, what do I do? I go here? Okay, let's turn this off. Well, that trip was a waste. No, we need to wait for an aurora. I should get some shut eye. Let's strike off for the mine Father Tom mentioned in the morning. It's time to say bye to Pleasant Valley. Yeah. You can hear it. Good old aurora. Uh, the radio. It's working. Damn. Why can't I get anything? Come in. This is Perseverance News. Hello? Come in. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Can you hear me? We need help. There's some kind of quarantine situation. Hello? That's Mackenzie. What do you mean quarantine? Mackenzie, is that you? Is there a doctor with you? We need a doctor, or, or medical Shit. assistance, anything. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. We're cut off! <sighs> You're alive. Damn it, Mackenzie. <sighs> You're alive. And on your way to Perseverance Mills. I've got to get there. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Electricity. Must be reacting to the lights in the sky. What is it, Molly? We have a lot in common, you and I. How's that? We both left our men behind. We both like to be alone. We're both hiding from our pasts. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I didn't kill him, you know. I wanted to. So many times. I just never had the courage. And as bad as it got at times, at least I wouldn't be alone. Being alone would be worse. That's what I told myself. I don't judge you, Molly. I didn't kill him, but I may as well have. I watched while the wolves surrounded him. I knew what was coming. I had a rifle in my hands. I could have helped him. Molly. It all happened in slow motion, you know, like a ballet. They were so quiet and confident, like there was no other way it could end. And I just stood there, frozen. He was yelling at me to shoot, but I couldn't. They circled. And then they were on him, like a force of nature. Molly? Why are you telling me this? Because it's important for someone to know. For someone to know what? That I don't regret it. Not for a second. The convict, outside with the arrows in his back. That your handiwork too? Yeah. They're all gonna pay now, Astrid. Who are? All of them. We've been in the background, in the shadows. Invisible, overlooked for too long. Uh uh, not anymore. I'm not sure revenge is the answer, Molly. <laughs> Maybe not, but it'll do for now. 
feels good to be on this side of the hunt. So I'm making up for lost time. Take care of yourself, Doctor. You too, Molly. Tell me one last thing. Your pilot. The one you left behind. He one of the good ones. Yes, he is. But things are... complicated between us. Let's just say I wouldn't want to find him with an arrow in his back. Then I hope to never meet him. It's been good talking with you, Astrid. For a little while, he took the loneliness away. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you can help those people up in Perseverance Mills and find some peace for yourself. Thank you, Molly. I hope you can find some peace, too. I guess Astrid's lucky not to be a man. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this one here, and then the next one we are going to go what? Enter the mine and leave Pleasant Valley. Once you enter the mine, you will not be able to return to Pleasant Valley. So where is the mine? Oh, don't tell me you have to go all the way. Oh, come on. Game. Really? Oh, I guess that's where the road goes. Okay, we're just going to follow the road, and that's just so lame. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button, and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in the long dark come out about three times a week at 8 p.m. CET, and I will see you next time.